In this tutorial, I will show you how to find the critical values in an F uh, procedure, um, provided a significance level and the type of the procedure, such as left tail, right tail, or two tail. And uh, to do this, we are going to follow the steps. First, we're going to draw the probability density curve. Then we're going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the test. Then we'll label the areas and the critical value or values, and then we'll compute the critical values. So we're going to start with the first step of drawing the probability density curve. And I'm just going to use some generic right scoot curve. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be accurate. But um, let's just note that the F distribution has right skewed uh, that is non-symmetric around the x equals 0. Uh, probability density curve and the first step is complete and now we're going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the test in this case it is a right tail test so i'm going to draw the rejection region uh, this way so my rejection region is right over here it's to the right of this critical value and then i'm going to label the areas and the, we label the areas according to the following rule the area of the rejection region must be equal to the significance significance level in this case it is five percent so the area to the right is 0 0.05 and the area to the left is uh, 0.95 so using the alpha notation we can label this critical value as f sub 0 0.05 where 0 0.05 represents the area to the right of this value. Now we are ready to compute this critical value. And um, you can either use a statistical table uh, that provides such critical values, or you can use a, a TI-83 calculator or Excel. I'm going to use StatCrunch because this is quite visual. But regardless of which technology you use, you're going to be using the fact that the probability of F variable to be greater than F sub 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.05. One way or another, you will be using this fact. And... Um, uh, the left critical value in the right tail procedure, of course, does not exist. So we can just enter that right away. And let's find the right critical value using, I'm going to use StatCrunch. So I'm going to um, open NF calculator. I'm going to enter the provided degrees of freedom, uh, 15 and 19. In general, you do need to know the parameters of the distribution to make sure you're using the right one and now we're going to use the fact that the area to the right of this critical value is equal to 0 0.05 so this is where my right critical value is um, and we're going to find it by pressing compute so this is the right critical value and uh of course we got this right so let's try to use the same uh steps and let's find uh the critical value in a left tail uh procedure as shown in the example above so the first step is to draw the probability density curve. I will continue using the same one. I'm going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the test. In the left tail test, the rejection region is in the left side of the spectrum. And the area of the rejection region is 10%. Therefore, the area, the remaining area is 90%. And using the alpha notation, we're going to label this uh, left critical value as F sub 0 0.9. And to find it, we can again use either a statistical table or TI-83 or any other technology. But one way or another, we're going either to use the fact that probability of F being greater than F.09 is equal to 0.9. Or we can be using the fact that probability of F being less than F sub 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.1, which is the significance level. I'm going to show you how to use both of those facts but also let's note that the right critical value in a left tail procedure does not exist so the first thing i'm going to do in set crunch is i'm going to enter my parameters and then i'm going to use the fact that the area to the left of the critical value is 0 0.1 which is the significance level and this gives me the 
critical um, value. Now, if you're working off the alpha notation, then you will be using the fact that the area to the right of the critical value is equal to 0 0.09, so you will still arrive to the same um, conclusion. And let's check if we got the same, the right answer. Of course we did. And let's practice the same uh, procedure in a two-tail um, test. And in a two-tail test, the first step we're going to do is we're going to draw the probability density curve. I will continue using the same one. Then we're going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the um, procedure. In a two-tail test, we're going to have rejection region in two in both tails of the distribution. And the significance level 10% will be evenly divided between the two rejection regions. So both of them will have area of 0 0.05. So the area in between will be 0 0.90, uh, which is 90%. Now using alpha notation, we can label the critical value on the right as F sub 0 0.05, and the critical value on the left as F sub 0 0.95. Now, we're ready to find it. So if you're using the table, then you'll look for these values in the table. Um, however, one way or another, we will be using the fact that the probability of the F variable being greater than the right critical value is equal to half of alpha. And we're going to be using the fact that the probability of F being greater than F.95 is equal to 0.95. This is what you're going to be using if you're working off the alpha notation. Alternatively, you can be using the fact that the probability of f being less than the left critical value is equal to half of alpha. And I'm going to show you how to do it all different ways. So in StatCrunch, we're going to enter the parameters of this distribution, 10, 14, and then I'm going to enter half of alpha on the right side. So probability of x being greater than uh, the right critical value is equal to 0 0.05, so this is my right critical value. And if you just switch this inequality to less than, you will obtain the left critical value. However, if you are working off the alpha notation, you'll be using the fact that the probability of f being greater than the left critical value is equal to 0.95, and you still get the same answer. Now, in StatCrunch, there is also another way which is kind of like a shortcut, um, and we can use the fact that the area in between the critical values is equal to 0 0.9, and by doing that, we obtain two critical values simultaneously, which is pretty neat. This is something that you cannot do using TI-83 or Excel or um, the statistical tables. So um, we tried each of the type of, types of the tests once. Let's do it one more time. But this time I'm not going to uh, draw the diagrams. I'll just uh, plug in all the um, information into StatCrunch and walk you through the thought process. So we're going to start with the left tail test. And um, in the left tail test, we're going to first open the right calculator. That is, we're going to, we're going to enter the parameters. And then we're going to use the fact that in the left tail test, of course, the critical value doesn't, the right critical value doesn't exist. But in the left tail test, the area to the left of the left critical value is equal to your significance level, which is 10%. So that's all there is. This is my left critical value. Now let's do the right critical value and a two tail test. So this is a right tail test. In the right tail test, the left critical value doesn't exist. And the area to the right of the right critical value is equal to alpha. So my alpha in this case is 10%. So looking at this, uh, we see that this is where my alpha goes. This is to show that it's a right tail test. And these are the parameters of the distribution. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward once you figure out uh, what's what. And uh, finally, let's do a two-tail test.
let's generate a new one let's generate another one just to make sure we have uh, two of each and this is a two-tail test i'm going to enter the right parameters 14 uh, 15 and i'm going to use a shortcut here just to get the answers real quick um, if five percent is the area of the tails the area of between the critical values is 0.95 so these are my left and right critical values it is worth reminding you that um, in a in the f procedure the critical values are not equal the opposite of one another because the f procedure is not uh, symmetric now if you're going if you're going to work off the alpha notation then uh, the way to find this critical values will be to set your area to the right of the right critical value as half of alpha so this is your right critical value or if you're looking for the left critical value you can set the area to the left to be equal to half of alpha which is the same and this is your left uh, critical value but you again if you're working off the alpha notation and you're looking for the left critical value uh, as f sub 0.975 then you're going to be doing it this way uh, one way or another you can find the critical values in more than one way to make sure that you got it right um, we completed each of the types of the test uh, at least two times or exactly two times. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.